Hey guys, and welcome to To The Moon. Let's get going. Oh, hello. Where were you looking, Neil? Well, excuse me for heroically evading that squirrel coming out of nowhere. You ran over it anyways. Oh. You ran over it. And hit a tree. Look, don't worry, it's a company car. Are you kidding me? The boss is going to kill us. Hmm, we'll just say I was saving a puppy. He likes puppies, right? He's more of a cat person. Why does the world have to be so complicated? Fine. Whatever furball he fancies, crisis averted. Good. Go write that on your report later. Let's grab the equipment from the car and move already. Okay. Received equipment. Got the sucker. Let's roll. Hey, let's get going. Hey, wait. Don't forget the car. Just wanted to see if you'd remember. How thoughtful of you. You totally forgot. We all seen that. You forgot. Trying to lie to me. Who put a boulder here? Maybe it's their security system. Cucumbers. We don't have time for this fluff. That's some interesting word choice. Huh. Let's try pushing it out of the way. Maybe we could find a tree branch to jack it with. Wait. Or... We could just call it a night and blame it on that. Uh, yeah, we're not going to be doing that. Let's, let's go find a branch. A branch will do. Hey, there's one right there. See? That wasn't so hard, Neil. Alright, this better work. What was that? I... I don't even... Oh. You're one of the odd ones, huh? Gotcha. It's some kind of an airball. Oh. Why was it there? Uh, right. We need to get going for now. Right. I don't, why did you say it like that, Neil? That's kind of weird. But hey. That's okay. Everybody's a little weird. It's fine. Ma, they're here. Hello, we have a box of stuff. Perhaps you want it. 
Not a bad place to retire at, huh? I could do better. Night shifts. Love him or hate him? You know the answer, you stupid owl. Did you just call him an owl? It's probably gonna be another all-nighter, you know? I know. And I doubt they'd have any coffee. Shut up. And the ocean waves will sing lullabies. Not through your blathering, they won't. And your eyelids will. Don't forget the equipment, moron. Hey, I'm not a moron. I'm just mentally deficient. I don't get paid enough for this. Yeah, I, f I feel you, Neil. I feel you. Act 1. I never told anyone, but I've always thought they were lighthouses. Dr. Watts and Dr. Rosalind, I presume. Thanks for coming on such a short notice. That's okay. I tend to be bad at predicting deaths as well. Neil, wow. That's not cool. Wow. Are you the patient's daughter? Oh no. I am just his caretaker. And these are my children, Sarah and Tommy. It's not exactly a 9 to 5 job, so Johnny lets us live here. I suppose this Johnny is our man. Johnny? Listen, if it's a kid we're dealing with, I don't think we're the ones you want. No, no. He just prefers to be called that. He's upstairs right now with his medical doctor. Come with me. Okay. Come on, grab that case and let's go. When my back breaks one day, I'll sue you with the insurance claim. Yep, but for now, you pick that box up and you huff it, boy. Alright, let's head upstairs before I drop this. Yeah, stairs, please. Okay, they're gone. Whoever gets there first gets to play the melody. Oh, hello. No fair. You pushed me. Did not. Whatever. You get the boring two notes anyway. You shouldn't push people, kid. It's rude. But god damn, are you both talented. I wish I was that talented. Wish I could play piano. That'd be cool. Those kids are pretty good for their age. Hey, you're the one who said there was no time to waste. And incidentally, I'm the one who's carrying the weight of a small meteoroid. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Let's go. Oh, music stopped. Like as soon as I came in here. That's weird. He's unresponsive at this point. But by the looks of things, he's still consciously hanging on. It's hard to say how long you'll have, but I would hurry. 
Ready to set up? Yeah, let's, let's do it. Yes, it'll just be a moment. Are you sure a common household power outlet is sufficient? No worries, we're the experts. Oh crap, god damn it. Standard procedures, just keeping you on your toes. How's he doing? Not so well, if I were to say. He's got just a day or two left. That's plenty of time. So you two can grant him any wish, huh? To try, at least. But we always succeed, because we're awesome. Neil, man. So, what's the wish? The moon. The moon? The moon. He wants to go to the moon. The geezers just keep on getting crazier, huh? So, can you do it? Depends. She meant to say yes. Why don't you tell us about our client here? That... I don't really know much. Johnny's an odd man. Through the two years that I've worked here, he rarely spoke. He worked as a craftsman for most of his life, and... His wife passed away two years ago. I don't really know many details. I would have known more if I were his paper boy for Pete's sake. Shush. Just do your thing. Well, I suppose if you look around the house, you may find some more info. I suppose Johnny wouldn't mind, since he signed for you two. Hmm. So be it. Alright. Which one of us plays detective? Uh. I'm gonna go with Dr. Watts, because you seem like a, a kind of hard-ass person who doesn't have fun, so I'm gonna go with the fun guy. I'll do it. I once played Sherlock Holmes in a high school musical. I remember you playing Watson. Eh, <laughs> same thing. Just configure this. I got it started anyway. My children can show you around. They're probably downstairs at the piano. Okay, let's, let's go get a tour, I guess. Wait, come back here for a moment. Okay, I guess we're not. I have something for you. I don't know why you couldn't have given it to me when I was standing here before. Here, take this. Received remote patient monitor. That'll keep you updated on Johnny's status. I hope there's no self-destruct button. I seem to have a knack for those. Okay. Now let's go downstairs. Oh, the music's back. Awesome. Hey kids, 
Wow. God damn. What do you want? Uh, can you show me around the house, please? Hey, your ma told you to show me around the house. It's music. Okay. Maybe we will. Maybe. I think we just need a little convincing. That's all. What do you think, Tommy? Yeah. Alright. Let's talk. What do you punks want? We want... One trillion dollars. Uh, no. Or... The candy cane mom hides from us. That's a bit more acceptable. Yeah. Or that. Uh... What? There is a giant candy cane on top of a high shelf that we can't reach. It's in the kitchen. Ma put it there to save for when we do chores. Oh. Get it for us, and we'll give you a tour through the house. What do you say? Well... Uh, yeah, I might as well. Let's go. You're lucky I don't want to walk up the stairs again, or I'd just tell your mother. The kitchen's door is right next to the stairs. Now go. Getting bossed around by some kids. God. It's almost like some kind of a terrible quest to get my night started. Yeah, kind of. Oh well, whatever. Let's just get this candy cane and get on out of here. There's that candy cane. Yeah, it sure is. Come on, Neil, you got to jump higher than that. Or we can move the table thing. Move it. Jump on it. Hey, got the candy cane. Cool. Now let's get back. You gotta jump down first. Okay. Booyah! It's like taking candy from an inanimate baby. Oh. That's kind of weird. Let's go. Kids, stop being so damn good at piano. Please. God damn. Alright kiddos. I was against a lot of odds back there. But, I got the candy cane. It's probably a decade old and tastes like rubber. But you can use it like a walking stick. Alright, where do we start? I know, there's this funny room in the basement. I don't like that funny room. Uh, what kind of funny room? You'll see. It's weird. We need to get the keys though. The old man hid it inside a book in the study. Okay, so... Is this a study? Kids, help me please. I am but a man. This is the book room. Oh, the book room. Okay. The key to the funny room is in the thickest book on the upper shelf. So uh, that's an easel, not a shelf. Good job, me. The Pilgrim's Guide to Origami. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to read about origami. Sorry. Uh, okay, read it. Um, maybe next time. Received room key. The man sure knows where to hide things. Yeah, he really does. Like... We can open the funny room in the basement now. 
Yeah, I just went and got the key. I, I know these things. Start down here. This is the basement. We play hide and seek here. Turn on the light before you trip over something. Is this the funny room? The door is locked. Open with room key. Okay. It's like a cave in here. Okay, so let's turn on the light then. Oh. What? Why? Is that really a room full of origami rabbits? What? Why? Makes no sense. A stuffed toy platypus. What a hideous little creature. Poke it. Oh. Yeah. Uh. Take it. Received platypus. Okay. I can dig it. A rabbit folded out of paper. That sure is. Uh, bye. You creepy room. Did you see it? What do you kids know about all those rabbits? Nothing. The old man didn't want anyone to go inside, so we never told him. There are more of them, actually. Where? Inside the abandoned lighthouse. It's just beneath this cliff. You wanna go see? I got the keys. Let me guess. You aren't supposed to go in there either. <laughs> Remind me to never keep any locked cabinets around you two. So you want to go see the lighthouse? Well, it's rather windy outside, but... Yeah, let's go. Oh, to heck with it. I'm Dr. Watts. Mere wind can't stop me. Come on. Let's go kick some butts. Um, you are aware that you're going to see a lighthouse. You're you're not going to like an action movie set, right? Right, Neil? I mean, I'm sure we've all made that mistake at some point in our lives, but it's it's just a lighthouse, friend. Just a lighthouse. Oh no! My novelty beach ball. Someone broke it. Oh. It was stupid anyway. But... But it's the bestest novelty beach ball I've ever had. Oh, who could have been so cruel? Uh, don't worry. Dr. Rosalind will buy you another. No, don't do it. She will? Oh yeah, sure. Just ask her afterwards. We kinda need to get going now though. Why'd you lie? You popped that. Wait, no, maybe someone popped it. Maybe it was you. Probably wasn't. I'm probably wrong. It's smoking. Who's the dummy that crashed the car? That was, uh... Dr. Rosalind. Yeah. Oh, Dr. Rosalind. Let's keep going. Let's get to the lighthouse. I want to see what's inside. Oh! A square wheel. Square wheel. Yeah. That's kind of a thing that happened there. Hi, squirrel. Eh, uh, what? <laughs> Is this real? Don't worry, kids. I got this. Is, is this gonna happen? Oh my god, it is. Oh, this is glorious. <laughs> oh my god, really? Fine, let's, let's do it. Have a shoe. 
yell loudly. This ends here. Stop it! Or we tell Ma you animal abuse. What? Yeah, she called the cops on you. Oh, come on. I wasn't actually gonna... Don't you like role-playing? <laughs> what? You should be ashamed of yourself. What? Let's name it Teddy. Okay. Let's just go. My whole night is ruined. I... I don't... <laughs> okay. Whatever. Okay, let's check this out. In memory of River E. Wiles. River Wiles, huh? Was she John's wife? Dunno. Come on, the lighthouse is right there. Sure is. Let's go. Ah. Uh. Stairs. My natural enemy. Ugh. Oh. Uh. This is it. Oh. Um. This is weird. A multicolored paper rabbit. Uh, I don't know how I feel about this. Hey, this wasn't here when we came last week. Oh yeah. John must have came here before he fell ill again. Two colours, huh? Am I the only one who's a little creeped out by these, though? Yeah, you are. Yep. What the? Someone's calling me. Ugh, I should have guessed. Yeah, yeah, we're coming. Blah, blah, blah. Alright, let's head back. As for this... Received Paper Rabbit. What the cactus were you doing? Cactus, huh? Burning ants with a magnifying glass. Using moonlight? Okay, I was taking a nap then. God, it's so hard to be a smartass nowadays. You're pretty good at being half of it. Your helmet's on the couch. Get it on. Ready or not, here it goes. Okay. Let's do it. Let's go. Uh, what? This should be last accessible memory. Disable speech for all except Johnny. Done. Let's get him. <laughs> 